Can you tell me more about the sort of 2K and 4K story? How have we got to, well, me sitting here really and asking about 4K? Sure, so your quest uh, <laughs> to find 4K has brought you here because, um, you know, we are introducing with Barco next week at Show East uh, the world's first DLP Cinema 4K um, projector. And so let's talk a little bit about why we're doing that. So to date, here we are, um, the first week in October, we now have over 22,000 DLP cinema projectors deployed by all of our customers all around the world. And all of those projectors are currently um, meeting the DCI requirements and their 2K resolution. So why 4K? Well, as you'll see, when we when we leave the the uh, the facility here at Texas Instruments and we move on your quest and we go visit Cinemark, um, many of our exhibitor partners are building large, large, large premium auditoriums where maybe opening night of a huge uh, motion picture like Harry Potter coming up this this uh, this fall or this winter. Um, I may end up being in the front row or the second row of these very large premium auditoriums. And so we worked with the industry, as clearly defined by DCI, 2K and 4K are in there uh, uh, for a reason, to produ produce what we believe will be the best 4K uh, digital cinema projector out there so that the exhibitor partners who want to go put this on their largest premier auditoriums will be able to do that. And they will know that they have undoubtedly the best digital cinema projection technology using DLP 4K that there is. It also gives our other customers who have, who are quite happy with 2K um, on all of their screens, which by the way I believe um, 2K will be well suited for maybe 80% of the world screens if not more. But somewhere down the road, sometime down the road, if those exhibitors choose to upgrade to 4K, the, the, the beauty about what DLP Cinema has done is that we, working with our customers such as Barco, we have purposely enabled an upgrade path. The electronics stays the same. The basic projector, projector architecture stays the same. You remove the engine that has the 2K chips, you install the engine that has the 4K chips, put in a 4K media block, and you're good to go. So we did it really for two reasons. We did it to make sure that our friends who are launching today to take advantage of movies like Avatar and Harry Potter in 3D as well as all the other digital content can enjoy the uh, the quality of, of DLP Cinema 2K presentations today. Be assured that they can be future-proof tomorrow in the, in the event that they want to upgrade at some point in time and offer customers of ours, of, of, of our customers, exhibitors like Cinemark, for those people who want to deploy 4K in their premium screens to do that today. One of the things you were saying there um, was that uh, 4K gives the advantage um, to the people that sit in the front rows of, of theatres. Are there any other benefits to 4K as far, um, from your point of view um, compared to 2K? Well, one of the things that, that um, we definitely have, have tried to do from, from a, from a uh, 4K project perspective is maintain the current quality levels of 2K. So if you think about it again, if you go back to the very beginning or the, the whole genesis of, of digital cinema, one of the, one of the key, key um, carebouts of the industry was consistency. So that if you do uh, a, what's called a DCP or, or a digital cinema master that will be deployed to theaters all around the world, if you meet the DCI specifications and if it's mastered accordingly, um, then it will look the same on every one of these projectors. So fundamentally, since we're using the same electronics architecture with the same Academy, of winning, uh, Academy Award winning colors that we have as an example, the, 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 the contrast ratio that we have, the brightness that we have, and so forth, um, the fundamental difference you'll see between the 4K technology that our customers are now launching and 2K is resolution. Now that being said, it's very hard to tell on, on the two chips, but there is a bit more surface area on the 4K chip versus the 2K chip. It's small, but it's possible that we'll get just a bit more brightness on the 4K than the 2K, which again sort of uh, talks to the fact that for a premier screen, typically it would be the largest screen in multiplex, maybe that will serve that just a bit better from an overall brightness perspective. The other real advantage is if you're just purely talking about 4K technology from DLP Cinema versus 4K technology from other types of, dis of uh, digital displays, um, in 3D, just like in uh, our 2K systems, we're using all the pixels on the chipset all the time. And so um, 
from a 3D perspective, it's possible that, that again, given, given you know, same system architectures, that we can have a bit of a brighter 3D image as well. But fundamentally, we've purposely designed this so that an exhibitor can be assured if they're using a DLP cinema-based projector, whether it's 2K or 4K, the images are going to look identical with the exception of the, the, the additional resolution we have in the 4K chip will now allow you to put this on a big, big screen and the audience who's sitting closer won't have to worry about any kinds of potential artifacts. Now, I've seen the two side by side. I'm one of the, the few fortunate that have seen them side by side on a rather large screen that Cinemark has just across the street from where we're sitting today. And from where I sit, they both are, they're both brilliant. Typical viewing distance. But yeah, first row, um, you can see a difference. I was talking to Michael Karaskoskian yesterday, um, and he was saying that for him, resolution wasn't the most important thing. It was about brightness, uh, sorry, about colour, and then contrast, and then about resolution that was important. Uh, and if you get the first two right, resolution sort of comes along after, and you can still get a really good uh, picture from 2K with that. Um, what do you think about that sort of view? Is, is it a similar, do you have a similar sort of thought or? Yeah, I do. Um, and we actually uh, were able to demonstrate this to the industry many, many, many years ago when we first launched our 2K projector. And we would shoot it out against film projectors and some of the best theaters on studio lots um, all over Hollywood. And uh, one of the very first things we noticed is that, that clearly the contrast ratio of a DLP cinema projector at the time was was the number one most important um, factor. Um, also making sure that you were able to achieve um, film-like uh, brightness levels of 14 to 16 foot Lamberts was very 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 important. And most important and you know I guess we kinda argue or maybe you know trade off from time to time what's number one and what's number two between color and contrast we spent, or we had color scientists here who spent uh, a long time working on very, very, very um, complex uh, 3D lookup tables to make sure that we could map um, digitally the the huge range that film offers to creatives, both capture as well as presentation, that we could offer that exact same palette on digital cinema projectors. and. Um, you know, resolution was important getting to 2K and actually, you know, above HD. Um, beyond that, the uh, it, it starts just to diminish because at some point in time you get to the point where the eye can only perceive so much. And um, and so, uh, yes, I, the, that's a long answer to yes, I agree with you that, you know, contrast, color, definitely 1A and 1B. And, um, and brightness and then resolution is probably down there long, around four. Have you seen one market grow more significantly as a result of uh, DLP coming in than uh, anywhere else? Um, well, the US is clearly still the biggest market right now. Um, I would say Europe is right behind the US and growing rapidly. Um, Latin America is coming along um, China is coming along, Japan is coming along. So, um, you know, if I go take a look at the deployments now, and we, we track these on a monthly basis, um, there are still probably more, you, you can sort of track it based upon where the current VPF models are that are available from studios, and many of those are in the U.S. and some in Europe. But um, knowing a little bit about what's going on, I think I think we'll see all of the markets start to even accelerate more as uh, more of these deals become available to everybody. But uh, we track it every month and, and it, it's encouraging to see all the numbers rising. So in matter of fact, Australia is an example. There's just been some very significant um, news uh, announcements here very recently uh, with some significant deployments that are upcoming in Australia. So. Um, I can't think of a single market yet where at least the 35 mil sort of replacement cycle is underway and then now we also have these new emerging market opportunities that are starting to materialize as well. 14 years of constant testing for yeah, one the, chip. Um, the number of mirror flips now has grown to the point where our quality organization is having to invent 
um, you know, it's like million, billion, quadrillion, and it, we're way beyond that now. Because if you think about it, 5,000 times per second, you start doing the math. And the number, I actually passed by it this morning, the number is 26, 7, and then a string of zeros. And every year we celebrate the birthday of those devices that are running, and they're defect-free. So, um, yeah, it's, it's extremely reliable. It meets the industry requirements. Whether you're 2K or 4K, we are so excited to be working with Barco and, and, and helping them and you on your quest for 4K introduce the technology next week at, at Show East. But we're also excited about the momentum that's been generated with our 2K projectors as well and the fact that there are many, many exhibitors worldwide who are really enjoying the benefits of them both in 2D and 3D. Well, thank you ever so much for letting me come to TI today. I, I, it, for me, it's sort of the centre of, of digital cinema, and I'm really excited to have been given the opportunity to come here. And uh, I, always, I obviously got to see the 4K projector upstairs, which I also know is, is a, a rare treat uh, as well. Um, and as I'm getting towards the end of my quest now, I, I'm, I'm beginning to understand a lot about about it uh, and begin to feel a lot easier about 4K and 2K. What's the one thing that I should take away from perhaps our discussion today, do you think, and perhaps my whole quest? Well, I suppose the one thing that I would want you to take away, and then hopefully others that will be reading the, your blogs and, and seeing these videos, is that back to the point if I'm an exhibitor and I have a choice to make, which exhibitors do need to be thinking about their choice. There is no doubt in my mind that the 4K projector that will be shown next week at Show East is going to live up to all of the world's expectations, which it will be the best digital cinema projector maybe ever. I mean, I really think it's going to be that that brilliant. But there, you know, I said the same when we launched our 2K projector. And so the only difference, again, is resolution. If you start to think about digital still cameras, you know, we started with one, res one resolution, then we went to another, then we went to another, then we went to another, and at some point in time people said, well, I can't see the difference. I've got enough. And I think as an exhibitor, that's, what, that's how we kind of need to think about this is, do I have enough for my customers to be happy with the presentation for whatever size screen I have, and am I satisfied with... with um, with this presentation and so I think that's what I would want people to think about is yes technologists invent new technology we did this to make sure that we we offer the premium experience on these premium screens but um, as I said before I, I certainly expect that that the majority of the world screens will continue to be quite happy with our 2k solutions and I'm looking forward to seeing 4K on the XD screen right across the street. I'll be one of the first ones in line. I, you know, I, I, I can't lie to you, but I also will continue to go to, you know, the other theaters um, that have the 2K systems on them as well, just like my wife and I did a few weeks ago. So that's what I would want people to take away from this. Brilliant. One last question, I promise. What was the first film to be shown digitally? Star Wars Episode One with a prototype projector back in 1999, and uh, we had two projectors, one in Burbank, California, one in Secaucus, New Jersey. It was a great experience, and we got to show it off to many, many, many of, of now the digital fans who, um, who came in to see what this was all going to be about, and now they're huge, huge supporters of ours. So it was a great experience. But yeah, Star Wars Episode One. Brilliant. Well, thank you ever so much, thank uh, you, Dave. Dave. Thank so you. Should we head on over to Cinemark? Oh, definitely. Thank right, you. Then.